137 million? Yes, and if I don't pay up, I'll go to jail for tax evasion. <laughs> I'm crazy enough to take on Batman, but the IRS, no, thank you. Hello, and welcome to James Lesser's Express Lane, where we get out as fast as possible. It finally happened. Somebody got hot served. As you see from Mr. Pustoff, $113,471.98 minus 90 grand equals $23,471.98. But yes, notice the judgment. Certified. Served. Served. Birth First Bank versus Philip Bunnell. Dear Sir slash Madam. This letter is being sent at the direction of the court. Please be advised that on May 26, 2021, the court entered a judgment of strict foreclosure in connection with the above matter. The court set the first law day to commence on July 27, 2021, with title scheduled to vest in the name of plaintiff on July 29, 2021. Ah, vest. The court found the debts as of May 26, 2021 to be $113,471.98 and the fair market value to be $90,000. The court suggests that you either consult an attorney to appear on your behalf, which costs money, which he can't spend due to his own money, or enter your own appearance in this action. The court also requires us to inform you that you will risk the loss of any potential equity in the above property if you fail to take steps to protect any potential equity. Very truly yours, Medford's Bank. <laughs> And third, <clears throat> notice of entry of judgment of strict foreclosure. Pursuant to Connecticut Practice Book Section 17-22, the plaintiff hereby notifies all non-appearing defendants that a judgment of strict foreclosure was entered by the Fairfield Superior Court on May 26, 2021. In the above captioned matter, as more fully set forth as follows, the court found the value of property located at, oh, we already knew the address before, but to be $90,000, and the debt due to Midfirst Bank to be $113,400. Additionally, the court awarded fees of $3,000, a total search fee of $225, and an appraisal fee of $1,340. The court has set the first law day as July 27, 2021, and approved the following order of law days. If there is no prior redemption on the property, title shall vest Memphis Bank on July 29, 2021. Somebody's bound. Now, some will still say, well, Memphis Bank would have to come after him. But this seems pretty much like they're going after him. Why would they attack on attorney's fees and title search fee and appraisal fee if they weren't going to try to get paid back for said fees? Okay, we want you to pay us these fees. But we're not going to come back to you for the fees. Well, then why charge the fees if you're not going to try to get paid for the fees that you're charging? God damn. I'm just waiting for the new goal is going to be $25,000. Don't ask me why it's $25,000, Snort. Just give me $25,000 I'll be able to pay my bills. Ah, that's going to be great. I thought Midfirst Bank would go out to the Gout Man for the 23K, but it would be funny if they did. You see, but why would you charge those fees if you didn't want to get paid those fees? Like, hey, we're going to charge all these extra fees that we're not going to pursue. Then why charge fees? Although I guess maybe the court automatically charged the fees, not Midfirst Bank. Could be that, but still. Remember when he said he needed 17k? Now he needs 23k. I, I know being a big business, big bank, and all that, twenty-three thousand dollars may not be that big a deal. But Midfirst Bank is known for being aggressive. Although as Thierry explained, they're known for being aggressive because of the people who complained about them. Oh, yeah, Midfirst Bank was just a bank. I'm going to go on their website and review them. 
No, no one does that. People who do review a banger or something like that is going to be, OMG, they came after me. Re. But will we be able to see a DSP review soon? DSP tries it. Reviewing Midfirst Bank. It's stupid, dude. I got my bankruptcy. They shouldn't be able to take any of my money because I got my bankruptcy. That was for unsecured debts. A condo is a secured debt. Not unsecured. <laughs> Although he got lucky that uh, the value of home property skyrocketed lately. Because before it was being valued at like 60000 So, hey, that is $30,000 in value he added just by delaying everything. Can you imagine instead of 23000 it was $53,000? Holy shit. Guys, I need to make $1,200 a week every week just to pay my Midfirst bank fee, guys. <laughs> but thankfully for him, instead of being fifty-three k, it's not. It should be. Oh, it should be fifty-three k, just to pick him over even more. But for him, thankfully, it's only twenty-three k, which he's gotten roughly seventeen thousand dollars in tips since he lost his partnership on Twitch. But of course, he's still broke, which is insane. Like, how do you get seventeen grand since you got kicked off of Twitch, just in tips? And yet, somehow, you're still broke. Huh. And mind you, he got his YouTube check. And he got his Twitch bits check. And he got Teespring. And he got behind the scenes. And he got his wife's paychecks. But he's still broke. Well, he is about to be even more broke when this goes through. <laughs> uh, and I still love the very truly yours, Midfirst Bank. But why? Ah, uh, because somebody else said, "Like, dude, it's twenty-three grand." Midfirst Bank's that's nothing to a bank like them. But why would you be charging all these extra fees and shit if you're not gonna pursue those said fees? Yeah, the court ordered attorney's fees, a title switch fee, and appraisal fee. Why would you charge these extra fees if you weren't going to pursue the fees? Could be, but ooh, it could be a business expense. Ah, that's what it could be. Oh, no, no, we didn't lose 23 grand. Because we also had that on the attorney fees of 3 grand, 225 for the appraisal fee of 1300 and Tyler's like. So instead of 23 grand, they'd be writing off 27, eh, almost about $27,500 as a business expense to write off on their taxes. But them not going after him is not funny. Them going after him is hilarious. Especially since he thinks he's in the clear because, but guys, I got my bankruptcy. That was for unsecured debt of credit cards, not for secured debts of a condo. And also, oh, that's the other thing. Midfirst Bank played their cards and all that to make sure they wouldn't be affected by the bankruptcy. Like, the way they filed things and the time that they filed things was to be like, all right, his bankruptcy's filed. He has got approved. All right, now let's file our stuff. So now we are new debt. Why file it as a new debt after his bankruptcy? Like, play all the cards, do all the finagling you had to do to make it so it happened after the bankruptcy. If you weren't going to go after him. It just doesn't make any sense that they would jump through hoops to make sure like they did everything after the bankruptcy went through. If they weren't going to try to go after him afterwards. But. Then again, as people say, 23 grand or 27.5 is not a lot of money to a huge bank like this. For DSP, $27,000. God, do you know how many Hulk Hogan cards that is on WWE Supercard or Champions or... Oh, what's the new one? They got a new one coming out. God, I saw someone post about it on Twitter. Can't remember what it's called, though. But yeah, but they got a new WWE game coming out. So do you know how much 27 grand could get in all those mobile games? But for Midfirst Bank, billion dollar company? Yeah, just dropping the bucket. But then again, why jump through hoops? Why finagle things to be after the bankruptcy and then charge fees 
if you were going to pursue those fees. Again, could be a write-off for your taxes, but would they have to jump through all those hoops to make sure they avoided the bankruptcy? If they would just be like, all right, I don't know, declare bankruptcy. All right, well, write it off. Maybe, although maybe if it was declared a bankruptcy, whatever, they wouldn't be able to write it off. No idea. Anyways, I'll let you guys go. Thank you for watching. As always, like, subscribe, comment down below, and have a wonderful day.